Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. So I do get a lot of comments with people saying I have saved them a lot of money, and I do get questions, hey, can I send you some money somehow? And now there is a way, if you so choose, called the Fan Funding. You'll find it on the channel page right there. We're looking at a 2008 model year Ford Focus. This engine is a 2.0 liter engine. If it looks like the engine under your hood, this is probably going to work for you. This is a spark plug replacement, maybe even a coil replacement tune up for this car. So we're going to use the coils, individual coils on top of the spark plugs right here. Let's push this terminal right here and release it. You might not even have to do that. They can just fold out with the plugs connected if you want, probably. But, uh, that's off, and then we have uh, four eight millimeter bolts. Everything is left to loosen, right to tighten. Here's my selection of tools. Spark plug socket extensions, quarter inch ratchet. Got some gun tools to make things go faster. Ratchet, quarter inch ratchet, or ha three eighths ratchet extensions. Give it a, some twisting action and pull up. Hmm. That's probably really okay. Things do have a tendency to stick though. like new spark plug socket it's got a little rubber boot in there it's supposed to hold the uh, spark plug on to the socket once you uh, get it loose again left to loosen Our platinum tipped spark plugs or even iridium tipped spark plugs looks like it says IT so maybe it's iridium uh, they say I believe you're not supposed to try and gap these so with our new plugs just kind of eye the gap and make sure it have not been dropped or anything like that very simple very easy to remove and install So we'll compare our old plug and our new plug. Make sure everything looks pretty much the same. And it does. The gap looks good. Turn it till it touches the bottom. Then maybe an eighth of a turn. Then it's tight. 
for installing your spark plug. And then if you happen to want to buy some, get some dielectric grease, put it in the spark plug boot. Helps with moisture and uh, things like that. So we can put it back in. Hopefully it'll help with sticking too, less sticking. Gonna be careful sometimes you can drop this down if there's enough space inside to drop the uh, spark plug boot off to the side of the spark plug so kind of make sure it drops down on the spark plug you push that on till you hear it clicks and that is replacing your spark plug do the same for all the rest and you will have done a spark plug replacement on your Ford Focus or perhaps even a Mazda. I think this might go in a Mazda so any people that are looking at their car and it looks like this you can do your spark plug replacement. Good luck to you. Now if you pull a spark plug uh, coil assembly out and you find oil on it, it probably means the valve cover gasket is actually leaking on the inside that's oil down there. You can see that's really pretty dry and there's actually some oil down there I didn't see at first. But uh, so this cover needs to be replaced. That would be a different video if I do that but uh, can cause some misfire issues, can cause this rubber to start swelling probably. So this is a good idea. Best is to replace the valve cover gasket. Just a tip there for oil on your boots there.